Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and click on the bell so that you will be notified whenever I post. Today I'm going to share with you a simple recipe which is braided donuts. Hi guys, so today we are starting off by cracking our eggs into a bowl. And right after that, we add our sugar and then we start mixing that very, very well and make sure everything is very well incorporated. And then we add our oil and we mix that again for a little bit and then we add our salt. After mixing that very well, we then add our vanilla, we mix that again, and then right after that, we add our milk, and then we mix again, and making sure everything is very well incorporated so that we have a beautiful dough in the end. And then we add our yeast, and again, we mix that very well, and not too long after that, we add our flour, little by little so this recipe requires a lot of patience you guys so i hope that you don't dump all the flour into the bowl at once but you should add it gradually little by little to make sure that the dough comes out smooth and delicious When the dough becomes a little firm, we can then move on into using our hands to knead the dough and just make sure it's not sticky, you guys. If it's sticky, you can add just a little bit more flour and then we continue kneading that and it will become a very beautiful soft dough. After kneading the dough, we then just let that rest for about 25 minutes or until it doubles in size. So 25 minutes later, we then grease our tray where we put our twist later. And then we proceed into giving a couple of punches into our dough. I can tell you this is a very, very satisfying part. But anyways, we then part our dough into small little parts. After parting our dough, we then proceed into rolling it out with our hands or you can use your clean counter and then we just stretch it out making sure it's long enough to make our twist. So you basically just do that repeatedly until your dough is finished.
until the dough we then just let the donuts rest for about 15 more minutes or until it rises a little bit more Fifteen minutes later, we then start our frying process, which is basically just putting our donuts into our preheated oil. Make sure you don't overcrowd the pan. After frying everything, we then proceed into making our glaze. So we just add sugar, water, and a little bit of powdered milk and let that simmer for about 3 minutes and that's it. So after glazing all the donuts, you are done basically um, you can enjoy them I am very sure you're going to love it this is a perfect perfect snack for any time you can literally eat it with milk or whatever comes to your mind and so we just added a little bit of sprinkle for decoration you can add sugar or anything else you have at home and that's basically it enjoy you guys this is very creamy very amazing honestly so hope you guys enjoy and leave a comment for other recipes you might want my mom to make.